it's Joelle and welcome back. Sorry if there's an echo, I'm actually in my downstairs bathroom today, but we, or I, I should say, I'm actually gonna be doing another highly requested video. I'm finally going to be doing a perm rod set on my hair. As usual, before we get started, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below, but let's get started. So last night I ended up washing and conditioning my hair. Right now I don't have anything that's actually on it. This was just my hair washed, conditioned, and then put into two strand chunky twists. I undid them today because I had some running around too. A couple months ago, I ordered, I think like 40 of these. Yeah, I ordered 40 of these perm rods because I have been requested over and over and over again to try this on my hair. Before we get into it, let me just kind of explain just the things that I'm using. So I'm just gonna be using these perm rod sets to actually do you know, the defining or whatever. And then what I'm gonna be using on my hair is the Dew Mousse Def Texture Foam. This has been my favorite. It usually has a very, very strong hold. So this is the only thing I'm gonna be using on my hair today. So before I actually start, what I want to do is put my hair back into the two strand twist just to make sure everything is nice and sectioned. So that is what I'm gonna do really quick. We're not doing anything fancy. And then just to secure the ends, I am gonna be using these little Clips. These have been my favorite because they are reusable. I don't have to cut them out of my hair like I do the rubber bands. They're just faster to put on and take off as I need. And honestly, this is kind of all I've been doing with my hair is just washing, conditioning, chunky two strand twists, six on each side. Surprisingly, I have not deep conditioned in a while. I've been going to Marshalls and just getting these like huge tubs of conditioner and just kind of putting that on my hair and letting it sit for the duration of my showers, and that has been working. My only concern today with the perm rod set is that my hair is pretty long. You know, when you stretch it out, you know, my hair is like, yay long. Is I don't know if I have enough room <laughs> on each perm rod to actually like do a full, each section of hair onto one perm rod. I didn't do smalls, I got like a large slash medium size in hopes that that will work but we will see. By the way, if you haven't seen my last video, I finally got out of my house and got to collab with a natural hair salon, Simple Beauty Hair Salon, which is out in Gilbert. So if you have not seen that, please go watch it. It's got a little interview. You guys kind of get an update on mom. You kind of get a feel for the salon. And I said that my next collab video with her was going to be a surprise, but it is another very, highly requested hairstyle video. The only hints that I will give you is that A, it's highly requested. B, you guys have been asking me to go to a salon to have this done. Last hint, which is probably just gonna give it away, is that we will finally be getting a decent length check on my hair. Alrighty, so everything's back in the sections. I have 12 total. So I've looked up a few ways to do this and it seems the most popular method is what they call a corkscrew perm rod. So I think that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna pin or tie up the rest of these. I'm gonna start with one of these bottom sections. I'm so nervous, I've never <laughs> done this, so we'll see how it goes. I'm like nervous, these don't look, these don't look very big. I got these off Amazon by the way, I'll go ahead and link everything so undo it so it's ready. I'm just gonna untwist this bottom section, keep it split in half, and I think I'm gonna split this in half as well because it's just really big. Okay, so we have this section here, and I'm going to spray with some water. Remember, I have nothing on my hair, so my hair is been washed already. There's no product on it. I don't think it has to be soaking wet, but it's definitely damp. And I'm only gonna use one squirt of the mousse. I lied, I'll use two. They come out kind of small. And I'm just gonna rub this all over. Yeah, well this product is nice. You don't need to use a whole lot. At first it doesn't look like very much. I think you just need to use what you're comfortable with. I saw some women just using leave-ins. I saw some using foams. I saw some using both. Again, today I'm just gonna use the foam because it tends to have a pretty strong hold and keep things soft on its own. All right, so keeping the tension is pretty important. Oh my God, my hair's so long. 
So keeping the tension is the important part. And what I need to do is I'm gonna start off wrapping the end around the bottom here. It's kind of this important piece. So I've got it wrapped around. And what you wanna do, keeping that tension, is roll it up once or twice, and then they twist it. So, uh, so I'm gonna twist it and wrap it around, twist it, wrap it around, and I'm twisting it towards me. That seems to be the direction that this is going in. Oh my god, what am I doing? Twisting, wrapping. This is actually a little harder than I thought. Twisting and wrapping. I probably could have made more room down here, but now I'm just gonna secure it by popping the end of this back in. Okay, well that didn't work. So I'll get this as tight to my head as I possibly can. Okay, that's a lot better. I had to wrap it around this side because I had it under here. I just had to wrap it around the other side so that it would stick. So let's try the last part of this. I don't have high hopes for this. Usually when I try a style for the first time, it's kind of like, obviously going to be hit or miss, but we will see. Most the over the entire section of this, especially my ends. Put a towel on the floor if you need to, and then detangle. I'm using my Felicia Leatherwood brush this evening. Trying really hard not to smack this bottom one. And then again, starting at the very end, I'm starting a little lower. I think I didn't start as low on the rod as I could have. Give myself a little bit more room. So I'm smoothing my ends as best as I can. Wrapping that around twice. Probably doing it like two or three times just because my hair's so long. Twisting it. Rolling it. Twisting it, and I'm twisting it all the way around. So I'm coming back to the direction it was in. So this is where the end is. I'm gonna do a full twist. So the end is now here. Bring it back all the way towards me. Roll it up. Hair also gets really thick at the root, so I'll twist it one more time and roll it under. So now it's, hopefully, you guys can see this. It's tucked all the way up at my scalp. Now I'm going to just bring this up and around and to secure it. It's also not going to work. Let's try that again. We got these two. Those are done. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a few off camera and see if I can like get it down a little better and then I'll come and show you the rest of it. Okay, so obviously we're losing some daylight here, but that's okay. So I've done the back three sections as just kind of like practice. So this is what I've gotten done so far. Again, just water, some foam, and then twisting. And I think I have the twisting part kind of down. There's like three or so on the bottom that are probably just completely like wacky. I don't feel like redoing them. So some of the sections I've been able to split into four. So I've been able to just, you know, this, each section has been small enough to just use one roller on each. So I'm gonna split this section into two. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna spray with some water. 
In this section, I'll do about a pump and a half of my mousse here. Make sure it's all nice and saturated on there. Going to detangle. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. When you do this, when you unhook the end, there's a rubber band piece. So I'm making sure that this end is facing towards me. It's like in front of me. Just gonna kind of drag this as far down as I can. And I'm trying to keep it towards the bottom part of the rod so I have as much of the rod to use for the length of my hair. And once the end is like kind of smoothed onto here, hopefully you guys can see that, I'm gonna roll my hair some people do say do it once or twice. I do it like two or three times just to be secure. So one, two, and a half-ish. Remember, I have this rubber piece facing out in front of me. I'm rolling this forward until the rubber piece is back in front of me. And then roll it up a little bit, then do that again. Twist it towards me fully. Roll it up a little bit. Twist it towards me fully. Roll it up a little bit. Twist, roll, twist, roll, twist, and roll until I'm up towards my scalp. Make sure it's nice and tight there. Not Nothing too crazy, but make sure it's tight enough that you think it'll stay. I'm gonna take this and bring it over the top and then pinch it into place. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Now we're gonna do the other side. Okay, again, rubber facing towards my face. Smooth ends, roll it up two or three times. And then again, twist, roll. Twist, roll. Twist and roll right up until the scalp. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try and do it back away from my face, over the top, and cap it. My theory with this is that these front pieces will probably be the best looking because I've had more time to practice on the other parts of my hair. But this has taken me about two hours. I think just under two hours. So, which is what I estimated. Usually if I do a hairstyle that requires sectioning, it usually takes me about two hours to do. Okie dokie. All right. All right, Ugh. okay, we're done. Let's do a quick turnaround, show everything. There's not as many loose ones as I thought that there would be because I was like never having done this before. I assumed that a lot of these would be kind of loose, but 
No, no, I'm pretty happy so far. So far. We'll see what happens tomorrow when I take these down. What's also nice is that I didn't completely drench my hair and this foam is also very quick dry that I believe I will be able to take these down tomorrow, so we will see. But with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow and hopefully these don't turn out too crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, so good morning. It is currently about 7.30 a.m. I think I got maybe two or three hours of sleep. I don't know how some people do this every week. These were awful to sleep in and they feel pretty dry. So I'm going to attempt to start taking these out. Ugh. I'm like hyped up off the Red Bull. But here's the first one. This is gonna be like super curly. Look how long that is. It's really soft. It's super curly. Can you guys see that? Let's get a little bit closer. Woo. Okay, let me take one out on this side. You can kind of see. It's so soft. Okay. Oh, wow, my hair's gonna be so curly. Holy cow. I don't, I don't know if we're supposed to really like untwist it. So far, it's very cute. So let's just keep going here. Oh no, so we're still damp. Okay, so actually some of these are still damp. So I am going to put the curlers back in and just wait a couple more hours. Yeah, it's still damp. Cute, but damp. So we'll try again in a couple hours. All right, so I think everything should be dry. I have sat under a blow dryer. I literally just like propped it on top of my, like over my sink and then sat under it for about 30 minutes. So I'm hoping that has helped. And it's also much later, it's about 2.30. So now it's about 2.30 PM. So we're just gonna start taking these out and hope for the best because I don't have any more time to waste having these in. Wow, look how, look how curled that is. Holy cow, and my hair is this long. It just went boop. But here is the first one. So far, so good. You know those like spiral shaped Cheetos? That's kind of what these remind me of. I think what I'm gonna do is I will separate out each of these curls. I think that'll probably be the best thing to do. This one's a little fluffy at the ends, but I figured I was gonna have a few that were not as cute as the others. feel like Shirley Temple right now. I'm just gonna go through and make sure I didn't leave any of these in my hair. Definitely some Shirley Temple vibes. I do have one that's kind of like looser right here in the back where it's like fluffier than the rest, but it's the only one. I do have a little bottle of oil, so I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my hands. Got a little bit of oil and we're just gonna play this by ear here. Just kind of separate them best way that we see fit. Like some of these big ones, I can break into like threes. Why does this still feel damp or fours?
kind of letting it separate wherever it kind of like is naturally separating. I don't really have much of a pattern that I'm following here. kind of check it out here in the mirror and give me one sec. <laughs> Alrighty, here it is. Holy mac and cheese, I like can't see anything. I'm almost wondering if I should like separate it out even more, but. But it's cute. I'm actually gonna take my camera upstairs and see if I can get some better lighting. So hold on a sec. Yeah, this lighting is better, so. Let me do a turn around here, like one more time. It is very curly. <laughs> if I like shake it out a little bit. You know what, it's cute. I like it, it's different. It'll probably like really fluff out over the next couple of days. But yeah, this was definitely better than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be like a huge puff ball disaster because, and I'd never worked with curlers before, so I wasn't sure how this was gonna work out, but I'm pretty satisfied. Again, the only con is that it was kind of hard to get like the twisting, rotate, roll, twist, rotate pattern down, and then sleeping with these in was horrible because they're perm rods, they're like plastic hard perm rods. I'm sure if it was like foam rollers, it would be different, but that's pretty much it. But besides that, yeah, this is cute. It's a cute style, it came out a lot better than I thought it would. So hopefully you guys are now satisfied that I have finally tried a perm rod set on my hair. Hopefully you're satisfied with the results. As usual, if you have any sort of comment or constructive criticism, you can leave that down below. But with that said, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below, keep blooming, and I'll see you guys in my next video.